Glam family. Today we are doing our annual fall home decor haul. And if you saw the annual fall candle haul, I said we weren't gonna do this video this year because I hadn't picked up any new things for the fall in terms of home decor. I had like a couple things, but not enough to do a video. And then this hurricane here on my left broke, and so I went to Pier 1 to replace it. And we know what happened next. They were having an awesome sale and I got new pumpkins. Plus a lot of my fall decor since we started doing the Glam Pumpkin Patch has been relocated right behind me. So today I'm so excited to walk through all the things that I added to my home for the 2018 fall season. Our first stop on our fall home decor haul is Home Goods. So I went to Home Goods while I was home in Napa. My mom and I did our annual fall shopping, and I know you guys love that video from last year. I'll link it below if you haven't had a chance to see it. Actually, I'll put it at the end. And I do have it for you guys this year too. It was four hours long, and I've spent about two hours editing it so far, so it is coming. But this is the haul and all the goodies that we got. First things first, a lot of you guys ask what my favorite fall snacks are. So I thought that I should start beefing up my fall snack selection because you know, we need our glam fall movie night. And I found pumpkin spice popcorn. I was really excited. The home goods have the best snacks because they're all kind of like on the healthy side, you know, as opposed to like the Halloween Oreos. So I was excited to find pumpkin spice popcorn so I can watch You Got Mail, my favorite fall movie and have a snack. Okay, next I found something that you might not think to switch out, and that is some really fun sheets. So how cute are these Glamoween dog sheets? So they have little doggies wearing costumes, and I had to have them. They were on clearance, so I think I paid like $15 for them. And I mean, how cute are all these little pumpkin wearing doggies? We have a vampire dog and a witch dog, and clearly my seasonal living would not be complete without Halloween sheets. I just keep building on it, you know? <laughs> Along that same theme, I got someone named Sunday the Bear a Halloween costume. You know what she's gonna be this year? She's going to be a unicorn. I mean, how cute is this costume gonna be on her? Because she's already white, and so, She's gonna be like the ideal dog to be a unicorn. I had to get this. We'll see if she likes to wear it. It's nice and baggy and she generally likes nice baggy clothes. So we go to Napa for Halloween for the full fall experience. So it's also gonna be kind of nice and chilly there. So we'll see if she likes to wear her costume. Daisy has a costume that she loves and I haven't found one for Sunday yet because she's been a superhero or a supergirl, Wonder Woman, and then she's been um, a princess and she didn't like either of those costumes. So hopefully third time's the charm. Also in the food section of Home Goods, I found pumpkin gnocchi. So we like to do on like Halloween weekend or Halloween week, a little Halloween pasta night. So I don't know if you guys have seen the pumpkin pasta that they have at Trader Joe's. I thought that this would be a fun little spin on it. It is Let's see, it was $3.99 and it's just, you know, your standard gnocchi, but I thought pumpkin would be a fun little twist to our fall pasta night. Next, we have the annual coffee haul. So if you are just tuning in to the Paper and Glam Fall series for the first time, first off, if you'd like to catch up on previous Glam Falls, there's a whole Glam Fall playlist so you can see the evolution over the years. Although I'm sure like the 2014 videos are a little bit cringeworthy, so maybe skip those, <laughs> but we have been drinking the same fall in love fall coffee for years together. And I know so many of you have been brewing it for a month and I wanted to show you the ones that I found and the ones I didn't find, I got on Amazon. First, we'll talk about the new flavor for fall and it is Vermont Maple Grove. So if you're not familiar with the Fall in Love coffees, they're by Paramount Coffee Roasters in Michigan. They, you can't really find them too much online except for Amazon and then at Home Goods. So they are $3.99 for a bag, which is a pretty darn good deal. And I mean, how beautiful and festive are these? So I wanted to try this one since it's a new flavor and I could tell you all about it. And I loved the Vermont Maple Grove. It's not too sweet. None of these are too sweet. I'm not a fan of sweet coffee either. So you guys will love it. Next we have the other two flavors that are staples. So it is the pumpkin spice and this one is vanilla nut cream. And they are both amazing. I, I usually do the vanilla nut cream in September and then I do the pumpkin spice in October. And then they also have a pumpkin pie that I like to do for November. So here is the pumpkin pie. How cute is this little 
packaging as a little heart pie and then new for this year at least new for me is the k cups a lot of you found these last year and I wanted to try them. I didn't see them at my home goods, but shopping at Napa instead of LA was bank. So I found lots of fall coffees and I actually didn't find sidebar. I didn't find the vanilla nut, I think. So I'll link all these on Amazon too. If for some reason you don't have a home goods handy or if this stuff is sold out. So the one critique I have of the K cups is that they're not the usual K cups I'm used to that are plastic that I can just put into my apothecary jars. I'll show you what they look like. So I also got the Joe's Harvest Pumpkin Spice K-Cups and I thought they, these would be so fun to mix around in my little apothecary jar like you guys have seen in previous home tours. And the sad thing is they kind of have to stay wrapped up because they're mesh on the bottom instead of plastic. So I would probably skip these in the future or if you have a choice between the regular ground coffee and the K-Cups, I would go ground coffee. And last but not least, I also got the Vermont Maple in a K-Cup too because this flavor is good addition. While we're on the topic of festive drinks, I also added some new teas to my fall lineup. The first one is from David's Tea and it is Honey, honey Crisp Apple and it is a green tea. Bring a taste of the orchard home with this juicy fruit packed green tea, delect delicately sweet and lightly floral. It's just like biting into a fresh crisp apple. Oh honey. So I thought this would be so on point for our fall. Like the beginning is all about apples and I just love this new addition to the David's Tea lineup. I will have to review once I've had a chance to have a cup. The next tea I added is from Stash. It is maple apple cider. This is an herbal tea. So I like to kind of have a combo of like caffeine and caffeine free. I'm all about my afternoon tea and I like that to be caffeinated for like when you hit that afternoon slump. And then at night, I love my herbal tea for just like curling up with a book and kind of getting ready to wind down for bed. So I did try this tea. We actually tried it together in an upcoming vlog in the September seasonal living vlog. It is really good. And the stash teas are so incredibly affordable. Like I think this little pack was like two bucks. So love stash for that. David's a little bit more pricey. It is loose leaf, but it's also really high quality and stash is too. So you know, they're both, they're both great. And tea, you know, you can use it for a couple of years. So I like to add a couple new ones. Are you guys ready to get into the pumpkin portion of the haul? You know, I have to add some new pumpkins. It kind of started at sidebar. This kind of started with, you know how we like to add a new Christmas ornament every year? Well, for a long time, I was adding a new pumpkin every year. And uh, this is how the Glam Pumpkin Patch was born. So this was going to be my new pumpkin for the year because I thought that I, you know, have enough pumpkins you'd think at this point. So this was my original plan. And it is a Staub like Dutch oven. So I have been dying over these Staub baking pans and saucers and stuff, but I am kind of committed to Le Creuset and all my baking and cooking stuff is white. So in the past, their pumpkins have only been orange and I was dying for a white one. And I just love that this is golden white. So I had to have it. And I had a 25% off coupon for William Sonoma and I just couldn't resist. Our last stop on the fall home decor trail is Pier 1. So Pier 1 had buy one, get one, 50% off pillows. So I got a teal, like a September teal, and then an orange October pillow. And what I, oh, what I think is going to be fun is layering these with my decorative pillows. I was decorating for fall and I felt like my couch scape was missing some just solid color pillows to tie it all together. So I was really excited to see that those were buy one, get one 50% off. So I think they worked out to like 16 and $8, which is fabulous. Okay. on to the pumpkins. The first pumpkin I got is for my room. It is a sister to this teal pumpkin right here that's lit up. And I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but it also lights up. So I thought it'd be fun to have a sister pumpkin in my room. I also think it would be really cozy with like the lights turned down low with a little glowy pumpkin on my nightstand. You guys are about to see how Pier 1 got the best of me. How cute is this like floral looking pumpkin? It just is like a, such an artful arrangement and it's paper and glam pink and teal and I just had to have it. I mean, it's just so, yeah, it's artful. It looks like almost like Venetian glass. Okay, we're down to the last two pumpkins and these ones are Cinderella pumpkins. And I just, oh my gosh, so sidebar before we get started in digression. 
I like to keep my room kind of a Cinderella theme for fall and Halloween, so I like it to be kind of still very peaceful. No like jack-o'-lanterns in my room, you know. So with the Cinderella theme, how beautiful is this little pink pumpkin? Just thought it would look perfect with my bedding, which is gold for fall, and just had to have her put her right there. Okay, this is the last pumpkin edition for 2018. You guys ready? How beautiful is this? Of course I had to get the big sister to the little sister. I mean, doesn't this look like Cinderella's carriage? Oh, I just was so happy when I saw this. And I had a $10 off coupon. So that is a wrap on the 2018 home decor haul. I hope it gave you some fun ideas and let's talk about what's next. So coming up on Fall PNG TV, we have a new video that we haven't done for the fall and it is Fall Favorites. So that of course is not a new concept, but how I'm going to execute it is. And I thought it would be fun to go through and talk about some of my favorite seasonal living items for the fall that you might not think about. So I thought that it'd be fun to kind of show you guys some out of the box ways to add seasonal living into your your repertoire and your traditions as the years unfold. And I have kind of little things I switch out month by month, such as um, I switch out like certain things in my purse and I read certain books uh, often in certain seasons and certain months and have been doing so for many years. And they really just add a uh, depth and a richness to the season that, that, you know, is kind of the next level after home decor. So that is the seasonal living video that is coming for you next. I hope this video got you excited for the fall season. And if you would like more seasonal living, more glam fall before the next video goes live, we do have a seasonal living group on Facebook. So we have an amazing sisterhood of girls who are putting all of this fun seasonal living stuff into practice. And you can just see all of the different ways that people around the country and around the world are doing our paper and glam seasonal living. What makes paper and glam special is that it's a lifestyle. So we are, you know, a sisterhood living along this same, these same traditions year after year. We have our September seasonal living list. So we as a community live alongside these seasonal living lists that we create for every month of the year. They're a little packet, they're $6.99 in the shop. They include September through December, and then we'll be releasing the full year again, probably in November. And this is also free to download online. So of course, like no purchase necessary, but it's just a really fun way to celebrate each season in community because everything's better together. All right, that is a wrap for today. Thank you guys so much for spending a piece of your day with me. If you would take a quick minute to give this video a thumbs up, I would so appreciate it. So we can ha have more amazing sisters join this community. And definitely leave me a comment below. I would love to know what you picked up this fall for the September for the fall season. I know I've seen tons in our Facebook group, but I just love hearing what you guys added to your home this fall. And with that, until next time, sisters. Thank you.